Hello, I am Mani Malarvanan. In this video, we will look into one of the analytic kit web three tool called token value distribution. We will see how to use the graph and how to interpret the data that we collect from Ethereum blockchain. One of the main purpose of this uh, token value distribution graph is to identify the various token value that your customers are transferring between their wallet and their friend's wallet. Uh, this helps you to segment the your customers based on the token value, how much token value they transferred. So this helps you to identify and uh, fine tune your marketing campaign based on the, the segments based on the token value that they transferred. So you can identify the users based on those uh, token value they transferred, and then you can segment those users. And based on that, you can identify whether they are high value customers or low value customers. And using that information, you can fine tune your marketing campaign based on that information. So the segmentation helps you to identify how much value they transferred between their uh, wallet uh, contracts and also how much value they transferred to their friend's wallet or family family friend's wallet. So this information helps you to uh, pinpoint active market they are belongs to and when they are transferring more value and when they are transferring less value, you can able to find identify those data and fine tune your marketing campaign and make them engage more with your Ethereum contract through your website. So I'm going to show the tool uh, and then transfer between this presentation so that you can understand what I am talking about. So I have shown this uh, page many times back uh, in many of my previous videos. This is basically when you log into Analytic Kit SaaS platform, you can once you log in, this will be the first page. You will see the dashboard. And if you have any questions uh, how to register or log in, uh, please see my previous videos. Once you log in, you click the community engagement. And then in the community engagement page, you will see all the community engagement marketing campaign that you created. I have explained how to use the community engagement tool and how to create a marketing campaign uh, in my previous videos. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know or you can also view the our previous videos. Uh, just by clicking the new campaign, you can enter the campaign, campaign name, contract type, start date, end date, and the contract address and token address, and then save it. Once you save it, we need 24 hours to go and bring the Ethereum contract data from the Ethereum blockchain. It is not a real time at this time. A real time, what I mean was, uh, we will not get the data as soon as you enter the campaign. It takes 24 hours for us to go and get the data. We are working on and getting the data in real time, but for now, uh, you have to wait 24 hours to see the data uh, to see the data only after that you can able to view the various graphs so let's see one of the marketing campaign that i created uh, some time back uh, that this marketing campaign the second one i created on march 2nd march 25th and then it ran up to uh, i'm sorry february 25th and it ran up to march 23rd and also you can also edit and modify the marketing campaign but generally it's a bad idea because whenever you edit you have to change the contact address and token address that may not be a good idea because uh, the data you collect that will change based that will be that will change based on the contract address and token address so if you want to create a new contract uh, it's better to create a new contract rather than modifying the existing one so and also if you don't need the contract anymore you can click delete and we will delete it from our system so let's see the view and explain so once you click view we will come into the a dashboard where we see various community engagement graphs. I have explained in my previous videos all these graphs, active users over time, total contract calls over time, total token transfer transfers over time, average gas used over time, and then total trans transactions over time, total transfer value over time, 
average token transfer value over time and transaction value distribution over time and now we are looking into token value distribution so in this graph uh, just by looking at you can see it displays how many users those who came and engaged with your uh, contract that you deployed in ethereum blockchain uh, transferred uh, 0 0.1 to 10 eth if you see there are close to 80 percent of the users uh, they are they belong to in this category. That means 82% of the users, uh, they used, uh, they transferred 0 0.1 to 1.0 ETH between their wallet and their uh, friends or family friends wallet. So, and then in the 0 0.01 to 01, there are 27, totally 27 uh, addresses that belongs to this category. And then uh, in the 1.0 to 10, there are 24. And then in the last one, there are only five users. Uh, they transferred in 10, uh, 10 ETH to 100 ETH category. Just by looking at it, you can see these are all these five users are your high value customers uh, and uh, if you want to create any marketing campaign to attract those users uh, or specific especially if you want to give any special discounts uh, you can do so just by seeing this graph and one other thing i want to explain um, right now all these graphs these are all static graphs static what i mean was you cannot change it for example if you want to uh, change the date date range or the time range, you cannot do so, but we are working on, on those features uh, to implement it in near future. And one other thing is that uh, we are also working on it. Uh, if you click this bar, right now nothing happens, but we are working on a feature. Whenever you click, uh, we will bring all the public wallet addresses uh, that belongs to this category and you can download it or you can do whatever you want to do with those graphs uh, say for example if you want to send a marketing campaign targeting those specific users uh, you can do so so that's the main purpose of this graph uh, this helps you to identify and segment your users based on how much value they transferred uh, between their uh, wallet and their friends wallet And another thing you can do based on the token value distribution is to tailor the marketing campaign based on the user segment and you can engage the communication. You can able, able to understand more about this users. See, ultimately you want to move the users, almost users if possible from the low value to medium value and then from medium value to high value. Uh, if you have those type of categories in, within your marketing campaign. Uh, so you can able to fine tune your uh, marketing strategy to attract those users to move from the low value to medium value or from medium value to high value. So this tool helps you to, this graph helps you to identify and pinpoint and customize your marketing campaign based on the data that we collect from the Ethereum blockchain. And another thing you, you can do is the optimizing your tokenization strategies. You can see, say you are creating, you are working on for a customer where they want to create an initial coin offering uh, for any of their product or service. And you can identify based on the information you collect, uh, you can identify how much how much users are in the low value, how many, how many users are in the low value, how many users are in the mid, mid range, how many users are in the I range in the ETH transaction token transfer. Based on that, you can identify how well your customers' uh, tokens are all utilized. Uh, if you see 80% uh, in low range, then you can uh, you can clearly tell that bulk of their customers they want to engage with their uh, tokens uh, just by purchasing the low value tokens. Um, so I'm just switching back to the graph. Um, Say for example here, you can clearly see there are 82 users. Uh, they are in this category 0 0.1 to 1.0. And there are uh, 27 users in the 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 category. So you can clearly see uh, how many users are in the low range, how many users are uh, in the high range. And then you can 
just by looking at it, you can tell the bulk of the users are on the low value transaction. That's what they are using that tokens uh, to purchase and then transfer between between their wallets and their friend's wallet. So this helps you to identify your future campaigns, how to how well your tokens are utilized, how much value it brings and how your customers are engaging with tokens, with the tokens uh, that you are supporting in your marketing campaign. And also this helps you to uh, educate your investors, uh, your customers, basically how well they are using the tokens and what you need to do to bring them from the low value to medium value and are from medium value to high value. So ultimately you want to engage, you want to make sure that your customers are purchasing more value tokens, uh, but some customers will never purchase uh, high value or medium value tokens they may always go with the low value and also you can see how many customers uh, they are having low value say one customer might have a uh, hundred uh, low value uh, tokens uh, and some other customer might have uh, only one or two medium value tokens uh, in this case uh, you can identify even though the customer those who have a uh, one value but that customer has uh, close to 100 tokens uh, you can identify those informations and you can give a special promotion or a special discount uh, to those users uh, because even though some of the one customer is having only low value you can identify that customer has uh, close to 100 tokens, uh, which gives you more profit uh, for your, in, in your marketing campaign. That helps you to identify those customers and engage them and then communicate with them in the special way, whatever you want to do within your marketing campaign. And this also helps to create a new innovations uh, in your marketing campaign by identifying the different uh, token value they are transferring between their wallets. Uh, say, for example, uh, in a typical marketing campaign, uh, your customers are asking, okay, I want to see how well my tokens are all utilized within within my ethereum contract that i deployed so you can able to answer that question not randomly you are coming up with the answer you have a clear data points that we collect from the ethereum blockchain and also i have shown in my other videos uh, we collect a lot of uh, web2 data web2 data what i mean was that uh, how many users visited their website or their mobile application and uh, what exactly they did uh, which uh, links they clicked, which page they viewed, how much time they spent, all the informations on the web two, web two side tools, we collect that information. Now with the web three, we ca you can able to collect those two data and give you a clear picture for your customers, uh, how well the tokens are all utilized within the Ethereum blockchain. So the main purpose of this uh, tool is to identify and come up with a strategy. See each and every campaign, you want to understand how well uh, your customers are using it. And you want to identify and come up with a better strategy in your future marketing campaigns to attract more customers and then engage the, make them engage with your Ethereum blockchain application that you deployed. For that, uh, the data we collect from the Web2 and Web3, Ethereum blockchain in this case, helps you to identify and pinpoint and come up with the strategies, not based on some random ideas, not based on assumptions. You are coming up with the strategies based on the real data that we collect from our Web2 tools and also from our Web3 tools. This helps you to identify and you can be guaranteed uh, whatever strategy you come up with based on the data that's going to work for it. That's going to work for your customers as well. And th that helps you to ultimately uh, increase your marketing campaign effectiveness to attract more customers. So that's all I want to explain in this video if you have any questions or comments uh, please uh, post it in our youtube video or uh, send us an email or you can visit our uh, website analytic.com and uh, interact with us
and if you want to log into our website uh, it's a dpa.analytic.com um, you can able to register and start using the tool and uh, one final thing please subscribe to our uh, youtube channel and help us grow and again if you have any questions or comments please let us know thank you and appreciate your time in this video